You're live. Hello, everybody. How are you? I don't know. We got to get this set up. This is just a test run of my outdoor studio. We're, uh, I'm going to have a few drinks, smoke a few cigarettes, <laughs> grill a little bit of meat, and uh, what's everybody up to? Mm, let's see. We got Lana. We got, we got two people here watching. All That's right. awesome. Thanks for watching the test. Thank you. <laughs> and there's my ashtray. Yeah, as we said, this is not going to be uh, kid friendly. Not but even close. I've got a, uh, I've got a fucking potty mouth, to say the least. <laughs> and I'm behaved when I'm on Dave's show because this is kid friendly. <laughs> oh, there's already nine people watching. All right. Now. Jay's here. Says, What's yo, up? boys. What's up, Jay? What's up, Matt? What's up, Isaiah? Look at these ugly fuckers. Yes. <laughs> look at these ugly fuckers. <laughs> Hey, look at the bat. I didn't even notice the background is the Jolly Roger. Oh, awesome. yeah. Because <laughs> we're pirates over here. Arr. Arr. Brian Bird's in here. Brian with a Y. Brian with a Y. Let me see your lighter. Sure. We'll be smoking on air, too. We're outdoors. We do what the hell we want. Please don't let your kids watch this. Mm, I don't want to let anyone down. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. So, What's anybody want to talk about? Yeah, my lighting shitty because uh, I sold it off an aquarium. We're working on it. It's a it's it's a progress progress, not perfection. I only blaze them cowboy cancer sticks. Marlboro, give me a couple of bucks. I'll advertise for you. I'm on that generic stuff. Oh, those actually those Newport Reds aren't bad. No, I like them. One for donation. <laughs> Sean Darlington's here. Hey, Sean, what's up, dude? Dr. Frankenstein's here, so he's been waiting for a, a show where he can say dirty jokes and talk like a sailor. So. Well, if you got some dirty jokes, Dr. Frankenstein, have at it. Remember, get your kids away. Yeah, because this it, is not for them. Because I'll talk about anything. <laughs> well, within reason. Sean Darlington says, what's up? What's up, Sean? Oh, wait, where's our where's your 8-bit? Mm-hmm. I already had it queued up, and I'm, I don't know, fucked up already. Got to have that background music. Can you hear it? I'm just using the uh, <laughs> too loud to overblast the talking. Brain team says, ah, oh, fuck, my kids heard it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, dude. It's all right. No, he's just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Seven bucks a pack. Shitty. Oh, yeah, I know. They, maybe they'll give me a discount if I keep plugging them. Dude, I don't know. Dude, Newport Reds are up to like seven bucks a pack. No, I think these are like actually eight. Yeah. Here, well, in Cleveland, if you get outside of Cobb County, they're 75 cents cheaper. Yeah, out by my shop. Yeah. Because the syntax. We're still paying for Jacob's Field. Yeah, that you can't smoke in. Mm. Only in America. Only in Cleveland. No, I think that's just a whole American thing there. Exactly. Neotech. Uh, that's new to that's Andy. Andy, what's up? Look, it's the what the meat boys, meat the meat boys. Spetlana's here. What's up, Spetlana? Can you turn the music down? Uh, uh, yep, yep. Absolutely. Thank you. Can you guys still hear it though? It's, it's still a test run. It's so weird being able to talk to you adults as adults. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Andy says meat. Meat. I got the grill warming up now. So, buddy, you're gonna so on Saturday nights now, people are just gonna be able to swing by, grab a burger, and talk. Yeah, that's the whole plan. You can come by, grab a burger. Um, I usually always got burgers, brats, you or know, you can bring your own meats. You can bring your own meats if you want to. If you, you know, Burton says, uh, seven bucks. I had no idea. I gave it up 20 years ago. Oh, they're probably like three bucks a pack. Well, not 20 years ago. Last time I bought a pack in Manhattan, they were like $11. Yeah, that well, was 20 Manhattan years ago. Yeah. Because so. I, I, I went in the store and I asked for two packs and the guy goes $22. I didn't say a carton, dude. I said two packs. And he goes, yeah, two packs. Gotta love New York. As they say, oh, holy shit, that is epic. It's crazy, man. It's it crazy. <laughs> it's funny to see Isaiah. I, I didn't even Isaiah. I didn't even know you're. Uh, that's actually Adam McGowan. Adam, I didn't. No. Even, I didn't even know you swore. <laughs> oh well, you can swear in here. Yes, absolutely. We Dr. Got Frankenstein is from out of town. Burton is from West Coast. Uh, actually, yeah, Burton is from West Coast. Uh, Svetlana is Frankenstein's husband or wife. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> so, 
and then Isaiah's had him going. Then you know Brian. But we're here at the Bat Cave trying it out outside. <laughs> um, but it's warmer weather. What, what is it right now? It's really not very warm tonight. It's but you cold. know, it's a little cold, and I apologize for that. Uh oh, Zachary's here. He says, "Oh shit, yep, that's right." Svetlana said, "Damn, shame on you, Svetlana, for such uh, a, yeah, such blue language." Dave, Dave filled me in, Bob. It's cool. Uh, Bob, if you want to put your link up in the chat, go ahead. Everybody, um, Bob's uh, one of Bob's relatives is uh, going into the ICU, and they got to go fund me. So I'd appreciate it if you show them that. Yeah, you know, throw that link up. I'll put it up on my Facebook too, Bob. Please, if you can help. Just what it's uh, they're they're gonna have to remove half of his pancreas, and that's not cheap. So oh, that's not good. I'm sorry, Bob. Svetlana says, says, I have a trucker mouth. Oh, Svetlana, I always pictured you as like such a, so mousy and, and polite and nice. I didn't know you had a trucker mouth. That's crazy. <laughs> Lana swears all the time. Well, so does my wife. You ought to hear her. <laughs> um, so the thing is down here, I usually cook out on Saturday nights. So I figured why not do this while I'm doing it? People, randos from the neighborhood stop by. You wouldn't believe the loud mouth. Um, people, is that the term? Is that the proper term? I mean, in this neighborhood, uh, it's a loose, loose term, maybe. But anybody stops by, give them something to drink, something to eat, we bullshit. Um, obviously, here I'd rather talk about pop culture and toys, but you know, the conversations here at my house, politics, aliens, just the weirdest shit. So, buddy, have you heard anything about uh, the Star Wars, the High Republic? No. Okay, I've, I've been following this a lot lately. Um, Zachary, we're in Cleveland, Ohio. West side. West side, Cleveland. What? I can't even do it. Can't, West, can't. West side. Well, I'll do the West, 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 West side. side. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Hood, the, so the High Republic is, do you know what the Lucasfilm story group is? Yes, I do know what that is. Okay, they're a bunch of SJWs. Um, that are trying to force feed Star Wars fans full of a bunch of craziness. So they have a new project going called the High Republic, and they're upset that Luke Skywalker's return took the wind out of the sails of the release. And um, so uh, they're, they're meanest, baddest, baddest, angriest, horrible, most evil character is a plant, a Sith plant. And any relation to Groot? No, not no. even, no, not cool. Not, no, not even cool. Gro Groot's at least cool. Right. Um, it's, it's, it's a sentient plant. And then, um, the, the best navigator in the galaxy is a navigator on a ship, a, a vessel called the vessel. And that's imaginative. And, yeah. and right. And, uh, the navigator is actually a rock, not a rock person, a rock. His name is Geode. He's legit. Like a piece a of rock. rock, a big rock. That's the navigator. When, how did I miss all of this? You know what? I have I, I listen to stuff all day long at work. Not that I'm not busy. I'm very busy, but yeah, that is bizarre. Zachary. Zach says he'll stop by sometime. Anytime, dude. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you ain't got to tell me you're stopping by. Just like Rhonda knew we were doing this, I went and bought some fresh burgers because Dave was coming over, and my neighbor John for sure, and another person was supposed to come over, but. They have yet to show up. Svetlana said she bought a limo for the layout at the grocery store Friday. Oh, for uh, D Dr. Frankenstein's a train guy. He's got YouTube videos. You should watch them. They're good. His, oh, his, I asked him about it. He don't yeah. go as Adams and you know, blow yeah. him up. Yeah, his yeah. his, his, uh, yeah, his, his layout's awesome. Brent's here. What's up, Brent? What's up, Brent? He says, what is, what is this outside stream? This is the Buddy Show. This is Buddy Harvey live at the back cave. I just happened to stop by tonight for a burger. Bob says, uh, may, may need to uh, back up or uh, scoot the camera back a little. I don't want to be seen, really. <laughs> Better? Better. And not only that, the table in my driveway runs away from the house, so we're, like, tilted as well. <laughs> like I said, this is just a test, and can you guys still hear us? Yeah, but it's the good half. Uh, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> this is the good half. <laughs> Uh, Spell Anna says uh, music is a little too loud to uh, hear you guys good. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna update. We're gonna we're gonna definitely get more equipment in here. We got lighting equipment and microphones and stuff coming. So just yeah, I I literally took a um, LED light off an aquarium <laughs> and put it up in my canopy. 
How long you guys been married? How long have we been married now, buddy? Uh, three, four years. Something like that. Best three years of my life, man. <laughs> Wait. What did you offer to be the power bottom one? Yes. Power we, were, yeah. we were we were going to merge our Star Wars. What was that? A couple years ago. And hey, people got pissed when you said that too. People were like, what the fuck's that supposed to mean? Oh yeah, I say fuck. Because <laughs> you put it in a, a, a place that's not that is family friendly. Oh you yeah. Well, that? Uh, yeah, I didn't. You know, I was so new, I didn't know. Yeah, it was funny because uh, I have a thing for blue snaggletooth. I collect only vintage Star Wars. Well, I have a few. Let me. I'm lying. I have a few black series figures, like maybe five, but I had a bunch of them. I got rid of them, but I'd got like my seventh or eighth Snaggletooth. And you said we could combine our Star Wars collections. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> you know, Power Bottom generates all the power. <laughs> it says we've been married 24 years together for 27. Oh, you, oh, her and it's Frank. Oh, yeah. I, I've been with my wife for. 12 years, I think. Married three years. <laughs> Bob said, this is so odd hearing the swearing. Fuck it, yeah! Fuck this. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Oh, and I'm wearing my Cleveland Indians pullover, so I don't want to offend anybody. I, I, I don't know. Uh, what are you I, wearing? I tried to wear my least offensive shirt, so this is my SJW repellent shirt. Oh! Triggering snowflakes since 2017. That's right. <laughs> well, there you go. That's why nobody is friends with me on Facebook, and I won't allow. I'm friends with you. You are. You're, okay. you're one of the very And my good. wife is, actually, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm whittling it down. I th I'm, I'm trying. My, my goal is to get down to 30 people. I'm, I am I need to do that. I see a lot of things that I don't want to see. <laughs> Zach says, love that fucking shirt. That's a nice shirt. <laughs> Svetlana says, no offending here. Oh, no, this is all about yeah, this, offending here. This is oh, going to be. Okay, but you're not offended. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't want to offend anybody, but. So if you're sensitive, you might <laughs> want to back on out. Svetlana said, we're all grown-ups here. That's right. Bob says, it only took you seven months to get it. Oh, did you get oh the Bob? shirt. No, the shirt. Oh. Um, this, I got. I ordered the shirt months ago, and they told me, at first they told the excuse why for the shipping um, was COVID. And then when Corona, Corona and then, yeah, and then, when, oh, yeah, we're not really supposed to say that's the C word on YouTube because the algorithm will find you and boot you. Right. But, um, <laughs> what we call it the coof. The coof. The coof. Um, so they use that as an excuse. And then, then when that excuse ran out, the time limit ran out. They they use the uh, the blizzards in Texas as a, as an excuse, except the company's coming from the stuff coming from New Jersey. So I asked them like, how does that even factor in? But you know, hey. where did you find this shirt on Facebook Marketplace or whatever? Um, I, I, it, it 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 just popped up on one of those things. I don't know. You know what? I think I went to Google and I put in uh, uh, anti SJW shirts. And a well, bunch of crazy stuff, fun stuff came up. I'm gonna tell you, if you need a shirt, get with Bob. But um, not a fan of the Facebook, those ads that pop up. Before. Right. Because, you know, Facebook is always listening to you, as everything is. Dude. And if you sometimes even just fucking think about something, which is weird, I mean, it'll pop up in these ads. But 90% of that stuff is just shit. Um, I, said, I, said, uh, I said the name of a shoe company to Jen last night. All day long, I said, I've been getting ads for them on my Facebook. It's, it's so weird. Yeah, yeah, and uh, also, uh, if you talk, if you listen to Tim Pool at all, uh, he will tell you that Facebook literally, literally knows when you're in the bathroom making number two. Well, every morning about five fifteen, it knows I'm taking a hot shit and playing on my phone. I guess. <laughs> so that line asks, "Is fever is fever coming tonight?" No, fever's at Grandma Crappy's house tonight. Grandma Crappy. <laughs> Brian says, I'll send you a fuck friend request, Crappy. I know, Brian. Um, I, I did see it, and, and you know, I weigh everything. And 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 I, I don't want to do wrong by anybody. So I, I, I think I should keep my Facebook, my, my personal Facebook separate from everything. I, I would rather, I'm, I'm, you know, it's not, people aren't my friends, and you definitely don't have to be my friend to be on my Facebook, so... I would rather, as a matter of fact, I'd rather my friends, my good friends, not be on my Facebook. Well, that's the thing. You know what? You're on both of my Facebook. Okay. I have my real one, and then my backups, buddy, buddy von Frankenstein. Oh, right. I yeah, you're that. on that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I keep a separate one that I don't post anything that might offend anyone. 
because I'd rather get along with people. And you're you're not abrasive on Facebook. Or I, to I me, like I, I mean, to some people. Well, to you, I'm I'm, I'm diet you, coke. Well, yeah, he's <laughs> he's not even diet coke. He's flat diet fucking Pepsi. Is what he is. <laughs> I mean, flat diet Pepsi. You opened last week. You didn't put the cap all the way back on. It's in the cup holder to the rear of the car. And you take a step up, and you're like, oh, no. Thanks. I <laughs> take that as a compliment. What's it is. I mean, I, yeah, it's not an insult because <laughs> I can be abrasive, to say the least. <laughs> Frankenstein says he spoke about a very obscure 70s movie, and it popped up as a YouTube suggestion. Of no. course it did. Uh, yeah, it did. So, yeah, I, we've had that, actually, because we were talking, because uh, we have Prime. Right. Speaking of which, I, anybody I, I watch uh, Coming to America 2 yet? Oh, I heard it. Garbage. I heard it sucked. But Rhonda, my wife's a few years younger than me. She never had seen it. So uh, neither one of us had searched, obviously, on her phone. We have YouTube Prime. We were driving, and I'm like, was telling her I'd seen an ad or whatever where they'd painted a bunch of the Amazon vehicles with uh, Eddie Murphy oh, on them. Do you see oh, that yeah, ad? Vehicle wraps. Right? Bob so, is going to be doing vehicle wraps soon. Oh, the Batcave. No, 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 no. Fat man, <laughs> December Pixie said, uh, like Pepsi, uh, like Pepsi left in a hot car, right? Yeah, it <laughs> was exactly what I am. Flat. <laughs> I'm gonna need more drinks. Shane's here. Shane, what's up? What's up, Shane? Whoa, it's the back cave. It sure is the back cave. This man. is the back cave. This is the outside of the back cave. Um, our bedroom, I'll show you before you leave. Okay, that goes. To the back cave, which is the back two rooms of the house, is under construction. Anybody that knows me knows me. I've been sanding for weeks oh, upon weeks now. I'm not a I'm not a drywall guy. I can do carpentry. I can weld uh, mechanical stuff, but finishing drywall is not my forte, to say the least. Bob says if you go into your Facebook setting and check off Facebook activity, I tried that, and see, it still does it. You'll see all the cross app activity. Is yeah. I don't allow any of it. I still have 783 things shared with Facebook from other apps. That's crazy. Well, not only that, um, you can disable a fact checker supposedly too. But I've done it three times, and it's been like 100 of them at once. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know what facts they they feel that I'm posting that they Dude, need to check. They, but They fact check my jokes. I They do. I swear. They do. Shane says, Cat and Crappy, uh, I want to come over and shoot some of your Star Wars stuff. Dude, that would be... Uh, see, I keep slipping in the Cat and Crappy show mode. That That's would be right, that, that. That would be awesome, Shane. I would love it. Also, uh, Jen and I... Or Fever and I were talking... Sorry. Whoops. Fever and I were talking about you last night. Uh, we'd also like you to come over and do some headshots for us. Some publicity shots. Ooh. So, you would be included. In oh. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that or no? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's talk. So, so we're doing the the appearance thing or whatever. We're gonna have appearance. some tables. That's what they call it. I don't know. That's a, you know, Andy made up. Andy made that thing. I, I seen I, it. I was like, I loved it. I was like, it was awesome, Andy. I, I texted it to my dad. I'm like, Hey, Dad, I started a cult. Aren't you started proud of me? A cult? I'm like, Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> so, uh, so we're gonna have a couple tables at the uh, Lorraine uh, Comic and Toy Expo, and uh, we're gonna be promoting. The Cat and Crappy Show, but uh, we're also heavily going to be promoting Buddy Harvey Live at the Bad Cave and then Fever After Dark Show. Fever After Dark. Yeah. It sounds like a Skinamax episode. It's pretty much, man. I'll be there. Fever gets dirty. Um, <laughs> she'll actually be in costume, I believe, that day. And, you know, she's a burlesque performer, so she has a lot of superhero Which costumes. I cannot wait till that starts up again. Right. Fun, because fun. we talked about that. And then, well, happened. <laughs> The coof, the coof, coof happened. Says uh, Fever After Dark is brilliant. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you did that. Too. I came up with that one. Did you really? I actually I, did, When yeah. you told me about it a few weeks ago, I thought it was a great name. It's funny. She came up with the Cat the Crappy Show name, and then I came up with too. Fever After Dark. So Bob's already working on backgrounds for everybody. Um, well, you got the John Roger. Well, I actually have a banner too that michael okay. breckus made okay i'll send a picture but it's got my phone number on it so mm. eh, i don't know if i really want people to start calling me i'm people that i want to have my number obviously have it but this is from um i set up at a couple of toy shows need those headshots done yeah uh, oh so how soon uh sooner the better shane um 
I mean, I don't know what your week looks like. Uh, I'm going to take the early part of at least the first half of Monday off. Um, but you know me, I'll come get you and we'll go from there if you want. Bob says he can he can print custom fabric soon. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. You actually print yeah. fabric. That's so well, cool. Yeah. We, when we were out at Bob's, we were talking about a lot of things. Oh, yeah? Me and Bob's got something in the hopper that's not YouTube full. So. Nice. <laughs> he actually told me about the one thing that's awesome. You think so? Oh, oh it's yeah. So awesome. Yeah. Um, and what a what a creative way to, to, to use the talents of a good friend. You know? Oh, there you go. That's what I'm I'm wanting to do because I love doing it, and we'll go from there. Chaz is here. That's your Chaz. What's up, Chaz? They ask me. I give to them for free. I don't know what he's talking. I, what are you talking about, to. Chaz? You're always <laughs> like 14 minutes late. Shane said, uh, "Shout out to Bob. What a magical crafter!" Right? He, Shout he out is, to Bob and, and Shane. I, I, I've been out to the what we call that the Bob Dome. The Bob Dome. The I Bob Dome. It. The Bob Dome. Yeah, his uh, workshop, Bob's workshop of magic. Yeah, it's, uh, he's got a lot going off out there, and it's pretty sweet actually. Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna have a fandom iconic line of T-shirts. Uh, we're gonna be giving away free shirts, buttons, and well, stickers at the show. Really. Okay. Yeah, we're doing a whole fan of my kind, like literally for the toy store. Uh, it's going to have its own line of, of nerd shirts. Nice. Some nice. original designs, some familiar stuff you'll you'll see. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll whisper a hint, G.I. Joe. Um, apparently, they and are charging, half the battle. Hey, knowing is for sure half the battle. Apparently, uh, a good uh, G.I. Joe hardback art shirt is going for around 50 bucks. Yeah. So we're going to slash those prices in half. $25? Buddy's bringing his, buddy's bringing his Katana sword. Oh, and let me we go are, get not the shot. We are chopping prices in half, man. So we got a lot of things rolling around, rolling here for, for, for oh, the, uh, <laughs> Chaz is threatening to give out my phone number for free. Oh, oh, Chaz, don't do that. That's not nice. I mean, you can type it in. I don't care. I ain't changed it in 20 years. I mean, I can now. Right. I mean. Shane says, uh, shout out to Buddy. Also, I took. I look forward to meeting you, boss man. Uh, I'm not the boss man, but I look forward to meeting everybody. Right. As long as I don't offend anyone. No, offend everyone. That's your channel. That's your yeah. show. <laughs> um, I'm going to go grab a drink. Can you get a blanket? It's, I'm not even trying to be funny. It is actually cold. Actually, out. I could use a little leg blanket. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get a drinky drink. And uh, can anybody hear the music still yet? You like that? <laughs> Fucking smack the phone towards the. Uh... Can awesome. you still hear the music? Can you still hear the eight bit in the background? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get a drink. All right, buddy's going to drink. See that? Better pain, Dave. I will try. I guess. Uh, Svetlana says yes. You can still hear the music. Bob says uh, I have a logo idea for your other endeavor, buddy. Cool. Shane says, uh, Captain and Buddy, Snuggies <laughs> in the future. Yes, we hear the music. Chaz says, a little. Bob says, yep. Yeah. Oh, everybody. So, yeah, this is just the test run uh, just to see um, see if everything works or whatever. So, thanks, everybody, for showing up. That's awesome. Uh, I, it wasn't scheduled or anything. Um, yeah, so we got big things going on for the channel, the whole fandom iconic umbrella. We got Buddy Harvey live in the back cave for the grown-ups, uh, Fever After Dark for the grown-ups, and then me for, you know, all the other stuff, I guess. I don't know. So we, we have so much stuff. We got a we got a line of t-shirts coming out. Um the toy store is, is, is a lot of progress on the toy store. Even though I'm slammed at work, I'm still getting toy store work done. So uh we're buying toys, buying toys. If anyone knows anyone selling toys, I'm buying them because we got to stock this store up full of awesomeness. So Isaiah says, Whoa, I blinked and but he's gone. <laughs> How'd you do that? I ate him. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. he's gone. He went to go get a drink, actually. Bobby Harvey's here. What's up, Bobby? Bobby says hello. Bobby, your cousin will be right back, man. He just went to go get himself a little, a little drinky. Uh, yes, Sean, bigger size shirts are available. Um, so far, uh, Sean, we have, as far as large shirts right now, all I have is the Captain Crappy shirts. Badash, what's up? Badash, this is the Buddy Harvey show live, except Buddy went to go get a drink, so I'm just sitting here. Uh, yeah, Sean, we are going to definitely concentrate on having all sizes of shirts. So Shane says, uh, I need a, oh, 
That's right, everybody. Shane's looking for a, a scale-sized horse, uh, preferably brown, um, for Lord of the Rings stuff. He says, uh, what are the odds that you might have some? Sean says, "Woot!" He's glad to have bigger uh, shirts. Holy mackerel. <laughs> uh, I, you I, know that. I will. <laughs> I mean, here's my Spider-Man. It's fresh out of the too, actually. I just brought it up. Oh, right it smells lovely. Yeah. Oh, Spider-Man thank you through. so much. He, he's not a uh, Nordic... Nord, Nordic close. Jew barbarian. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, for all thy uh, vodka drinkers, I was a big Sky fan, and I really like this Green Mark. It's a Russian. So I, I don't know if you it, let's show the Sky. Okay, everybody knows what a regular size Pepsi looks like, right? Just so you know, this it's is, only eighty proof. It's not crazy. It's a big bottle, though. It's but I, I just put a little bit in here with. Giant Eagle. Johnny the tonic. So Shane Herb says he's also on the hunt for a black series. Shane Vader. Herb. Shane Herb. I know he's the Shane photographer Herb. guy. Shane Herb. He's what do I know you from, Shane? Is he a new tech guy? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Bull won that that uh, Frank and or not Frank and Steven, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bull won that Darth Vader, but uh, Shane, I can I will find you one. Okay. Somebody will get you one here, especially. Shane Herb, Neotech. I knew I knew the name. Yes. What's up, Shane? Excuse me. He does uh he was on the show one. He was on the he was on my show one night. I, I'll be honest with you, you know, I'm horrible. I go to sleep early. So. Right. He did he does the uh the Mortal Kombat uh photography, the action figure photography. I have that, seen that, yeah. The lighting and stuff. Okay, it's yeah. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. It's awesome. Hey, Bobby Jerry says hello. What's up, June Bug? <laughs> That's the noise Jimbug makes. Is it? Yeah. Why would you make that noise? I don't know, because you get excited. You know, I don't know if it was Bobby or Chaz the other night. I think it might have been Bobby. One of them said that that Crappy Shows is now his favorite show. And I said, even Probably more favorite. Junior. I said, even more favorite than wrestling. And oh. I think, I think he said, yeah. I'm not sure. Badass is here. She says, uh, you just reminded me, Captain. I need to go have a smoke. <laughs> Oh, you smoke, badass? Shame on you. You really are badass. <laughs> no, I didn't hear anything about it. No. Neighbor. Sorry. This is awesome. Yeah, that's my dogs making noise in the house. This is so cool. But yeah, I talked to his nephew. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Okay. All right. Uh, one of my neighbors died. Um, Sorry to hear that. Oh, uh, uh, John, you met him, old man John, across the street. Oh, he oh, died. Uh, yeah, shit, about a week ago. God, everybody's dying. Right yeah, now. and then there was no what in Rona, or what? What do you call it? The coof. The coof. Um, he older guy. Um, he was in bad shape, and uh, she says, uh, "I don't just smoke." I smoke black and mouths. Oh, wow. Those, I cannot stand the smell of them. <laughs> Those kids at my work smoke it, and I, I walk through, they smoke the cherry wine ones or something. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, oh. Those are very G fabulous. I mean, if you if you dig it, cool, but I just. Mm. Yeah. Do you freak your miles, Ash? You got to if you're going to do it. I mean, I guess if you're going to do it, you got to do gotta it. Got to go hard. Way. Got to teach them all the way. Yeah. Don't, don't half ass anything. I'm getting messages. But you guys will get to meet uh, my neighbor, John. Not the one that died across the street, the one that lives up that way up the street. He should be here anytime. He can be um, different, to say the least. So <laughs> I'm just going to warn you guys, I'm abrasive. He is off his fucking meds abrasive. Uh, <laughs> Isaiah says you can't fire it with half an ass. <laughs> Uh, oh, badass says so she smokes the jazz flavor. That's the one you're talking about. It's it's kind of fruity. Uh, I can't yeah, just stand smell, the original. It smells like uh, Red Bull, which I don't like either. You know, oh, yeah, that, well, yeah. Dave will tell you I'm a big coffee drinker. Like, me and my wife continuously drink coffee. and um, But it smells like that energy drink, Red Bull. I don't yeah, know. I don't like Red Bull. Grapey, is it grape? It's a weird smell. I don't. Red like Bull's kind of like a weird, like licorice, like original, like maybe red vine. Maybe or that's something. what it is. Yeah, it's it's a weird smell that as soon as I smell it, I'm like, Ugh. 
Shane says, for a split second, uh, I thought you booked a great, wait, you booked a guest, oh, guest ghost. Oh, because we were talking, no. <laughs> But no, see, that's, that's he, the charm of the show. Yeah, anybody, he, anything can happen. Yeah, the, the, the people stop by here, so especially when it's warmer. Dave has been here at my house, like Adam the Paul, as I call him, stops by here, and the guy talks like this. Hey, there, Raleigh, are That's the way the guy talks. He's my neighbor on the other side, and he'll stroll up the street with his pit bull and he'll stop, have a hot dog, you know, burger, beer, and then conversation makes absolutely no sense and uh, he'll go on about his business coffee is life badass says if she quit smoking then she'd have to quit coffee uh they go hand in hand and i drink coffee all day right i agree i could see you ash i could see you smoking miles that makes sense to me i love the pirate flag in the background pirates of the caribbean well i'm a different kind of pirate well, I do. I'm not an anti Johnny Depper the way that a lot of people are. Right. I have a lot of people that I know that hate this guy for whatever reason. I don't care about his politics and what his beliefs. We just got to beep. Um, got to beep. I am a different kind of pirate. You are for sure a pirate. I'm a pirate, and I have I've had to rock a patch a couple of times <laughs> from my uh, old profession welding. I'd get metal in my eyes or whatnot, but. A different kind of pirate. And it's not a butt pirate, but I'm a pirate. <laughs> Shane says it's awesome. It'll be like uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse here. But oh, everybody's back. I see it said butt pirate. <laughs> butt pirate. <laughs> That's a kind of pirate. No, I'm a rump ranger. Arr. <laughs> Shane says, please tell me you'll have talking furniture. I mean, if that's what you, if that's what it takes yeah, to I keep mean, people watching, yeah. we'll make furniture talk. And we'll figure out some stuff to give away and. You know, it'll be a fun time, man. Play trivia. I'd rather people actually come over and compete for things. That would be cool. We could set up, like, I, I don't know. Contests of manliness and such. Well, then I, wrestling. I I mean, I would win all those. Right. I mean, if we're going to get greased up in tights and roll around Greco with other Roman. dudes. Greco Roman's the only way to go. I mean, we got to go. If we're going to go, you go go hard. You go go all Greco. The way. Yeah, for sure. I mean. I, I still want entrance music, but I mean, you know, Chester said he was going to come over and wrestle me for one of my wrestling belts. Dude, you should start every show in a cape. In a cape, coming in with fanfare music. Mm. It's all about the game and how you play it, right? Yeah. Like if you make a big entrance. I mean, I can do some pyrotechnics and whatnot. I mean, we're going to write a buddy buddy Harvey theme song. All kinds of fun. Oh, stuff. dude, if I could get to my, I was going to. Next time Dave's over, um, Rhonda bought me for Christmas two years ago a banjo. Oh, we could do it. Yeah. Sure. Can you play a banjo? Yeah. Oh, yes, I sir. have a tuner and everything. I tuned it, but. Yeah. It's, well, and they then the picks. Like that, so. Yeah. Well, the Sorry. picks, I the, she bought large and then XL. I mean, I got big sausage fingers. <laughs> so um, I tried playing with it. That's why I was a bass player. Because bass strings are about this big around, and then guitar strings are about this big around, and banjo strings are about this big around. So, dude, it's uh, really not my forte. I'm already, but thinking, I love the sound of a banjo. I'm already thinking of, oh my god, I'm already getting ideas. A uh, banjo music? Yeah, and I have a full studio, so I can record it. Paddle faster. <laughs> the banjos are getting louder. <laughs> Jazz says your first show, I can come and take my title from, from live from the back cave. Yeah. Oh. You know yeah, what this yeah. is, Chaz? Skeet, skeet. <laughs> Badass says, where's Fever tonight? She's at Grandma Crappy's house. Um, she's probably on her way home now, or she might be home now. I don't know. I, I came straight from work over to the Batcave. Shane says, uh, Nervous Wars would be uh, super awesome. Uh, oh, he also said, uh, or Isaiah said, uh, drive by nerfing. He's going to drive by and just nerf. See, nerf. now I would appreciate that. Would that. Awesome. Paintballs, not so much because they fucking hurt. And I'm a douchebag when I used to play paintball. I was the guy that would take his five gallon pails of paintball, put them in my deep freeze, then take them oh. to the range. I was that asshole. Yeah. Until I got hit back here by a frozen one one time. Somebody else pulled the same stunt. Then you didn't appreciate it. I, I had it, a huh? fucking knot out like this. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? You're right. This this is not cool. It's like getting hit with a rock. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nerf nerf would be acceptable. Squirt guns. I mean, I would like that. Just don't aim towards the 
electronics. Yeah, yeah no, up. Squirt, no squirt guns. No, but it would be fun. People, I'm, be I'm fun. game. It would be fun, but people can't be trusted. Then we'd have to have uh, everything in plastic. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to just invite them to squirt gun us all the time, or you I all mean, the time, and then and then have to buy a new computer every week. Yeah, I ain't trying to buy a new computer. Ain't so. trying. But um, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be fun, man. Dude, it's gonna I'm be so it's gonna be different. And uh, I know I already got a meat sponsor. That's awesome. Meat sponsor. Meat. Did you talk to him? Uh, not really, but okay. he, he messaged and everything. Nice. He didn't. No Racing direct message. Says, uh, we used to put bleach in squirt guns. Oh, Ooh, that's not good, bro. That's, of course, you, dude. Frankenstein has no. Frankenstein has no soul. His only soul is Svetlana. That's the only thing that gives Frankenstein a soul. He's 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 a bad guy. Mm. He's he's the evil guy. He's Darth Vader. He's uh, Skeletor. Mm. Well, Skeletor never could win. <laughs> Shane Herb says hot sauce and squirt guns. Oh yes, that'd be oh. hilarious. Speaking of which, um, one of my sponsors, <laughs> uh, John, the other neighbor, not the dead John, the living John, living John. Yeah, he um he he works at Cleveland Clinic. And this is probably, I might get him fired, but there is a bag. What do you, what do you think that bag weighs? Oh, at least three pounds, four three, pounds. Th three pounds of condiments from the Cleveland Clinic. <laughs> but and I have a condiment table I haven't set up. It's like stainless steel. And, you know, it holds all the pack. Yeah, I got to set that up. <laughs> you have a con, dude. Because and, we cook, we and, eat. Everything under the uh, the fandom, and con fi fandom iconic umbrella has sponsors, but he has a condiment sponsor. I right? have, well, John, he steals them from his work. <laughs> I don't know if that's a sponsor. Bob says, I text Dave uh, the logo ideas. Okay, I'll, oh. show, I'll show him. I'll show him. Buddy's Back Cave brought to you by Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> Those cookies are fucking garbage. Right? The most boring cookies ever. Yeah, they're Bad just so bland. Badass says, oh, I got to get back to work. Have a great night, everyone. You have a great night, too, dude. Later, Ash. Bob says, uh, I'm going to make you not the dead John shirt. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty funny, John. actually. John, the old man the John, John. He, he was a neighborhood uh, staple for 73 years. The house across the street. Oh, he's the guy that refused to move no matter how yeah, bad. He, the... he worked at the factory next door. Mm. The, the, his house, uh, if we could move the, is straight across from me in the factory that he worked at most of his you know life is right next door to his house. He never moved. Mm. Here we go. 13 people watching. 13 us. people. I mean, it's more than I thought I'd get. I like that. Okay. Bob, I like that. That's private label only. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Yeah. West Side, Drew Rowski uh, commented on uh, your the ad that you put up on the Craftastic Family page for the show tonight, or yeah. the test run, and he put a picture of uh, his awesome collection room, and he said, West Side! Well, he's... You're Southwest now, dude. You you live in Medina. Oh, he's Southsider. He's one mm. of them. I mm. still live in the hood, bro. Bob said it's easy to etch design. Yeah, I like that, Bob. I really do. Yeah, we'll get with that. I'll get uh, I'll get some together and we'll we'll run with it. And that other one, I'll talk to you when you can talk about it. So take care of your family.